So, Mr. Roach, I mean, you name your book Accidental Conflict. The current tensions between the two countries, are they accidental or inevitable? The book is called Accidental Conflict because it, it, it speaks to the fact that much of this conflict is uh, really unnecessary. It did not have to happen. It would not have happened had it not been for the false narratives that the United States and China project on the other. And, you know, just to give an example of false narratives, um, you know, the U.S. blames China for its trade deficit. Well, we had trade deficits uh, last year with 106 countries. China was the biggest, although it's smaller, but our trade deficit is just as much an outgrowth of our lack of domestic saving as it is a, um, uh, a problem with the way in which China trades with us. Similarly, uh, about a year ago, President Xi blamed um, America's policies of uh, trying to contain China for China's growth problems. The idea of accidental conflict is that there are many, many false narratives on both sides of the relationship. And when you put them together, that has led us into this condition of distrust so that if something happens, the environment, which is uh, unnecessarily damaged by these false narratives, could in fact lead to an outright conflict. Uh, and the concerns that I worry about the most in that regard uh, are problems in uh, the South China Sea, the Taiwan Straits, um, the war in Ukraine, war in the Middle East, and the, the very severe and worrisome outbreak of animosity of anti-China sentiment in the U.S. Congress. Any one of those uh, issues could, could be a spark that ignites the high-octane fuel of uh, false narratives and lead to accidental conflict.